Yes, guys, how's it going? Welcome to the first episode of the podcast. Absolutely buzzing for this, wanted to do it for months. So about the podcast, really, as a boxer myself, I've just, when I finish training or when I'm in camp and it's like, you're dieting and thinking, why am I doing this? And then I'm watching podcasts about people who've been there, done it, and I thought, we need more of this. So I thought, let's bring our own to the screens. It's not just us going through the dieting, talk about the journeys, how hard the sport is, just everything in general. I thought, let's cover it. So our first guest this week, joined by Sam Maxwell, former British Commonwealth, WBO European, IBO World Title Challenger and top amateur, GB, Sam Maxwell. How's it going, Sam? Uh, it's good, Paddy. Thanks for having me. Yeah, obviously. Great to have you on board. So first, let's get started. Start young. Your first experience with boxing, life as a young kid, how was it? Like, How did you get into the sport and how did you come across it, really? Yeah, well, um, I started off in, I was born in London, so mum took me to kid boxing. Oh, really? yeah. yeah, born in London, Hackney. Yeah, that's why my accent's a bit weird. My accent's yeah. all over the place. Yeah. But um, done kickboxing, really enjoyed it. And then when I moved to Liverpool, um, we started a kickboxing gym and I was really good. And my coach recommended that I go to a boxing gym to work, um, work on my punches. Yeah, yeah. Good, good at kicking, but work on my punches. And then um, went to Highside ABC, uh, which is my local gym, like a mile up the road from me, walked there. And uh, the first day, just fell in love with it. The coach was brilliant. The, the atmosphere, like kickboxing was very structured, point, score a point, stop and all that. But boxing was just a bit raw. And I just loved it, lad, yeah. Yeah, fell in love yeah. So, so you say you were born in London. What made you, so you boxed out of the Solly, right, yeah? Yeah. In Liverpool. So yeah. what, how did that come across? Did you move from up from London to Liverpool? Like, how old was you then? Like, So, when I went, so born in London, up in Hackney, and um, was there till I was eight, and my dad died when I was eight. He died of a um, sickle cell, but all my mum's family are from Prescott, from up this end. Yeah, so yeah. She, we had, she had four kids, so we all, she needed help, so we all moved up here. And um, yeah, that's how it started, really. And, um, yeah, the first boxing gym I went to was Highside. I was there for Where's like, Highside, sorry? It's in Whiston, so we're not far. Uh, so it's, it's only about, it's about, not from, the, about 10 miles from the city centre. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's, a, it's a small area, but that's where I started. I was there for 12 years. Um, I reached a high potential there. Like I got Box for England a few times, like once or twice, um, won the university champs when I was with them. But that was that was it really. And it, was on, it wasn't until I went to Salisbury when I was 22. Oh, so you only uh, moved to Solly when you were 22? 22. 22. Yeah. I, was, I was a senior, already been in the ABA twice. Um, got beat in the first round by Tom Stalker, who was obviously yeah, a great obviously, Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, went to Solly. And within one year at the, so so the Solly, I'd won the ABA's GB tournament, uh, Great Britain tournament, and then gone to Team GB all in one year. Like, yeah, so it paid happened off. pretty quick. Yeah, it was so, the right choice. Yeah. I was thinking it was a big choice for me to leave Highside. It was my, you obviously, yeah, yeah. It was my childhood gym. It was like I knew everyone. It was like easy for me. It was only a mile up the road. So it was a big choice to, to, to leave, and it, but it was the best decision I made. Yeah. So obviously you said you was boxing at high side. What did you did you win anything? Schools, juniors, youths? Uh, did it all happen as a senior? Like how, how did it go? No, I did yeah, right. got to a good a good level. I, I won the got to the junior ABA final. That was the best that I did as a as a junior. Um, boxed some good lads there. Boxed uh, Martin Ward from Bailey. He he was yeah, yeah. he was really good. Um, uh, he done good in the pros as well. And boxed beat Kevin Satchel, another top Liverpool boxer. Beat him when I was a junior, and. Um, I what else did I do? Box for England against Ireland, selective match, and then I boxed for GB against Sweden. Um, I got that call up because I won the university championships, which you don't like. The university championships. Nah, they're not as big anymore. Are they like? They, they went big then. It's a low level. There's like yeah, one or two people it? in, yeah. and um, so. But I was a I was a very good boxer. So I go <laughs> I'm boxing some lad. Even there's no levels really. I was boxing some lad who yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't have been in with me. Yeah. To be just Easy wins. <laughs> Got my first stoppage, <laughs> first stoppage win, and then but uh, there was like a an England official watching, and um, he was like, oh. he was like, yeah, we, I like the look of you, and it got me, got yeah, me uh, to box for GB. It was brilliant, yeah. And that that GB performance, I got to box alongside Lagogo, Callum Smith, Scott Cardell, some really good, yeah, really good, good boxers. Kid. So then senior ABAs, how many times did you do the seniors, like, uh, and how did you get onto GB? Because you say, how many assessments did you have? I had three assessments. Um, they were all with higher side as well, actually. Yeah, all of them higher side, but I was struggling to make weight. I was boxing at 60, but yeah, I'd go up to like 65, 66. But on GB, they you have to, like, they don't, they wouldn't let, allow me to just go be 65. You have to be close to your yeah, weight, obviously. 5% and all yeah, that. Yeah, so I'd go, I'd, I'd arrive at, count, uh, at the assessment already dead, already tired yeah. from doing runs and sweatsuits and hot baths. And, and uh, so it was just hard. I couldn't, it didn't, didn't get to show myself to, yourself, to my yeah. ability. Um, so I never got picked. But, um, 
Yeah, got went to the AB, I've been in the ABAs three times, went twice for high side. And uh, where did you get to then with high side at the ABAs? The regionals? Yeah, regionals. Because you, the first round of the regionals. Yeah. Did he go on to win it that year as well? Uh? No, so the first year, um, got beat off Tom, got, got beat easy off Tom. T- like 10-1 or something. Yeah. It, was computer, it was computer scoring Ben. Yeah. He went on to the final, got beat off Frankie Gavin. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's obviously one of the best amateur boxers uh, of all time. Probably, yeah, one of the best the amateurs we've had in this country, isn't he? And then um, I boxed Tom Stoker again the next year. I did a lot better. 8-5 I lost, but I think I felt like I won it. Do yeah, you mean? Yeah, like if it went my way, I don't think he would have complained, but he was the GB top dog then, so he got, he got the decision. And then um, when in the next year for the Solly won them. Yeah. So yeah. You boxed Josh Kelly that year in the final? No. This um the first year I boxed a like called Brett Bearden in the final. Um he's from he was from Repton class yeah, in, yeah. yeah. He 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 was he was class, but I uh, got the win over him. But it was in two thousand and fourteen when I won it for the second time, I boxed Josh Kelly in the final. Oh, was that fight in the final? Was there a lot of hype around that fight? Yeah, because it was who who won that was. Was you both to... on G B at that time? Yeah. So it was like they don't really do that nowadays. They don't put two GB kids in. So it's like, so you both was on GB. And so like, there was a lot of pressure on that fight. Definitely. Game, yeah, Commonwealth Games was coming up in Glasgow. So who won this? They weren't, they didn't say that, but whoever won that was going to the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. You know what I mean, and um, yeah, so I got, I got the win. Was it an easy win that? No, was no. It still close computer score now, not? No, that was back to round like so nine, 10, 10 yeah. uh, 20, like 20, 20 point wins or 10, but I don't know. But um, yeah, round winning. And um, close fight, but I just edged it. Yeah, yeah. You felt a bit stronger. That was in the echo as well. In the so echo, yeah. Buzzing in your home yeah, town. Class, yeah. Meant brilliant. to be really, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 So then, obviously, you're already on GB, though. You say you beat Kelly. Then what? You're off to the Commonwealth Games now. Went to the Commonwealth Games. 2014 was my, my best year. Was, as I, an amateur? Yeah, my best year. I was I was at my peak. Did that year, um, did you beat Joe Cardina as well? That was the that was my first year. That was 2011. So, ah, so that's how well I the squad, before. yeah. That's a good win. Yeah, like, not a lot of people win. know that because he's yeah. a world champion. He's, now, so he's so unreal. Should be flexing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I went to the GB. That was in the GB tournament. So I won the ABAs in like, I think they were in May. Then by the October, I boxed in the, the British Championships and then uh, boxed some Scottish lad for Sean Dick first. And a uh, bit too good for him. Yeah. Then uh, it was the winner of Cordino, Ian Weaver, and they had a storm of fight. And yeah. I was thinking, oh, I'm fighting this now. But I wasn't, I was, there was no pressure. I was like, I was expected to lose. So yeah. there's no, was, I like going in like that because I had no pressure. So, but I performed like, yeah. great against Cordina and got the win. But I remember um, it was in the York Hall. So the change venue. It was, yeah. yeah brilliant venue but yeah. the changing rooms are tiny and um, I was next door to Cordina and I could hear the pads grrr, bah, 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 bah. I was thinking that's always like I watch videos still of Cordina on the pads now. so sharp innit yeah. One, probably the fastest hands I've, I've seen on the squad yeah you know, great sprinter Joe Cord- always won the sprint races and that's yeah, all yeah yeah rapid but, um, I remember thinking oh I've got him next and then yeah got the win but buzzing oh, so yeah. big win that was a good win that was a big win what did you say it's, what would you say your best amateur win is well obviously apart from Selimov don't talk about it yeah, we'll oh, yeah. On that one, uh, okay yeah. yeah my um the best names here probably Cordina in that Britain, came from nowhere best yeah, British yeah, probably Cordina looking at that yeah, this is probably my biggest claim to fame isn't it? Yeah. He's, he's smashing especially it especially what he's doing now yeah and then Definitely. Kelly as well I boxed, I boxed really well against Kelly yeah two good wins there two great wins yeah you also have a boxing British I don't know that's probably them too yeah yeah, yeah, yeah them top too dogs, yeah. so then now Commonwealth Games yeah, yeah obviously training everything haven't... to process what is it like obviously all the cameras and that will be involved with the Commonwealth Games as well. oh it was unreal like we had Especially being in a home nation as well, because they yeah. were only in Scotland, weren't they? So that's yeah. good. It was, it was, class. It was oh, similar to, it, obviously not as good as the Olympics, but I bet it was like, it had that similar kind of vibe. Like the whole country was behind you. Uh, Britain was behind you. It was, it was great. Lo- the build up was massive. It was huge. Yeah. And I was thinking like, because you you go to these tournaments, and you fight Russian number one, this this Kazakh number two, and, that, and, and no, no one cares. No one, your no, mates don't know about it. Nah, and then no one cares. Like, from, like, the from, kids are 10 times yeah, better as well, aren't they? Kid up from Tonga. Uh, in the Commonwealth Games, he was rubbish, shouldn't have been in with me. And um, everyone was like, wow, you're just amazing. I think <laughs> all over BBC, you know what? Russian number one last week. Yeah, it's like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> mental, innit? Yeah. So the first fight was against a Tonga. Tonga, yeah, boxed really well. Um, I was just too good for him then. I boxed Kenya, the little tank from Kenya. They're strong, oh, they're strong, they're massive, aren't they? Yeah, yeah he, he's strong. gone pro now. He's doing, he, well, I don't know how he's doing, but he was doing well as a pro as well. Um, and then I boxed India. That was the big win, this for the medal. Um, Kumar, what's his first name? Manaj Kumar. Yeah. Um, and um, he's he was class. He'd been the Commonwealth Games. He's medaled. He's really good um, level performer. And I, I got the win over Danham. I won the bronze medal. Ah, what a feeling. Yeah, so you and guarantee yourself yeah, a medal. Yeah, it's a good feeling. And then, obviously, now you know you're boxing Josh Taylor yeah. the day after. So. And I sparred, what, hundreds of rounds of Josh. So you so both we, on the GB squad at the same together. time. Did you train same together weight. for the game? Yeah. Or not? 
like so you trained yeah, trained alongside each other. It's mad. The game's mad in it. But he just, I just went for England. He went for Scotland. Yeah, yeah. So. Was there any tension there or not? Nothing. No, no. It's just like rivalry, but yeah. it's not. Didn't like, like didn't dislike personal, each other. No, just, I liked him. He's a nice, yeah, nice yeah. lad. Same as um, all the other people oh, you train alongside. Cordina I trained alongside when I was at sixty kilo, and um, yeah, you just they're just yeah, rivals, still, but you don't dislike them. Nah, they're, yeah, they're all nice people. You still pals in that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Why not? And then yeah, performed all right against Josh. Um, didn't get the decision, but um, performed well. And then. Uh, yeah, good yeah. fight, and then good, good, good fight. Did Josh go on to win it? He went on to win gold. Still, so, can't score, score, yeah. learn, At least yeah. lost to the winner. Then he turned pro not long after that, and then um, absolutely smashed at the pro. Yeah. He's, I think he's, he don't get the respect he deserves. He nah, absolutely he doesn't unify the division. That, for, that, and for he the people he beat, yeah. it's unreal. That, yeah, he don't unreal. get. I don't think he gets enough. Rec- I think it's a lot of it's because he's Scottish as well. If he was English, I think it'd be celebrated a lot more. Definitely, and, and one rate, loss, people just rip him off. Then, like, yeah. people, lost to Jack Carroll and boom, it's like, it's like, no, like, yeah, like he didn't do all that. Yeah, like, well, he didn't, well, he didn't he lose. Didn't but lose, like, but you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Then but got, yeah, 2014 was was my year. Went Kazakhstan three times that year. Was there for like six weeks. Really? Yeah. Just, and, so and what we, after the games? Went yeah, went before the games and twice after. Oh, the did games. you find Kazakhstan? I've not been yet. Hey. Thank yeah, I've not been yet. It's brilliant. You'd you'd love it. It's yeah. brilliant, but it's, it's hard. And um. Yeah, you're sparring the Kazakhs and it's like a fight. You're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Just, but then they, you look people, outside. I don't think people realise, especially non boxers, just... like, if, I've not been yet, but I've been told stories of kids on the squad. And I don't think people realise how tough they have it out there, like these Kazakhs, Uzbeks, and. They, they live. This, this they is live and got, breathe boxing. They are, don't yeah. they? We, we have made diff- other choices to make it in life, and they've got boxing. If they don't make it in this, it, they, they, they're not going to make it. So they put everything in. Yeah. And it's like, that's what we go against, and it is it's tough. What was it like being in Kazakhstan? It was brilliant. Got to try horse meat and yeah, oh, what training. Was that like? yeah it was all right. No wonder they're all so too. strong in that. Isn't oh, it? Like, they beat us at everything. Beat us at football. Really? Boxing. Football? Yeah. Kazakh. Beat, you know, we had Paul. Do you know Paul? Oh, he's not in the squad anymore. Paul was the nah, coach. No, no, I. He was. He he was a coach, but like he put himself centre mid. Uh, I <laughs> remember that man. It's funny. It's what funny he was like in Kazakh playing the Kazakhs? <laughs> yes. Oh, he put that himself centre mid. He's brilliant. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they whooped us at everything: basketball, football, and and boxing. They beat us. Was it tough? Tough, there. yeah, but it separates the boys from the men, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it, it was the best thing ever, like it made me the best I've like, ever been. Learned so much, right there. just the sparring was just yeah. levels that it was every spar was every round was intense, They're just intense because it's like elite. Don't think people understand how good the Kazakhs are at boxing. Like over here, we'll have three, four good kids at a weight, but Kazakhstan, there's like eight of them, yeah, and, and all... then they're all trying to get to that number one spot. So, like, they beat at, at my weight, there was four, so I sparred, I was sparring the number one, me and him are battering each other, but like. As we break and that, like, you look out the ring and the, the number like, two and three are sparring each other. They're just looking at us, just tapping like, each other, tap, tap, waiting tap. to get in with me because they're going to fill yeah. me and do me. So they'll tap, tap, tap with each get other. And then when you get in, I'll try and knock me up. They want to be the number one. Yeah. They know beating me up is going to make them look good. Yeah, yeah. Like, but it brought the best out of me. That was my hands down my best year. Now. 20, yeah. So that's a busy year, isn't it? Yeah. Commonwealth Games, three Kazakhstan trips. Three Kazakhstan trips, Commonwealth Games, ABAs, and um, where else did I go? Stranger one, Stranger. The Stranger's yeah, a good tournament, isn't it? That's like Box five all at the fifth major in the amateur, yeah. didn't they? I've never been, but a lot of kids talk about the Stranger. It's a good, like, lad, one good one, good level. On, on and box resume, countries you never, you don't box these normal. That's in Bulgaria, isn't it? Yeah, I box Venezuela, Brazil. Like, so it was brilliant. Did you win that? Yeah, wow, well, five fights, four five, days. Fights in five. Uh, no, no, sorry, <laughs> five four fights, four days. <laughs> What? <laughs> Four fights in five days. Yeah, but, uh, class cool. class. weighing in. People don't realize well weighing in every, every day. day. Like that takes it out of you as well. You, you box and you've had a tough fight and you want to go and have a big meal, a massive drink of water. You're in the back skipping off and you're like, why did I pick this? Yeah, yeah. But it's that was always the way. Though it's a, it's a, you don't like it, but then. You like it, if you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, you're only doing that because you're going to go for that gold medal. Yeah. Like, all, some lads who have been beat, they'd rather be in the position of trying to make weight the same as me th- instead of eating. Yeah, they they're would, not yeah. getting their gold medal. Like, it is good, like, eating, but if you said I'd you can weigh medal. in in the morning, yeah. Yeah. fight for a gold medal, you're going to exactly. box for the gold medal, aren't you? 100%. Exactly. So then the strand, is that all in 2014? That was 2014. That was my hands down, my best year. Yeah. And then where do we go from the WSB? WSB 2013. W- oh, was it? Were they before this, obviously? Yeah, they were before this. Um, you had plenty of WSBs, didn't you? 30 in them. When I think about that, that's my basic I turn pro. That they're like I, 13 I, pro fights on your yeah. record, really, though, aren't they? Five rounders, no vest. Yeah, a 10 like, pro a journeyman, didn't I really? <laughs> <laughs> I was half and half like Well, you tough. box the best kids, so WSB you, you box Lomachenko twice. Lomachenko twice. That. Class lad. He was unreal. Boxing in Kiev, it's like the room. In his was, own in his own country as yeah, well. The room, not many not I many, wasn't supposed to box him either. 
I what suppose, the, so what you what video analysis on this kid Rudan Co I suppose a box ping, I would ping him rubbish yeah yeah, yeah. and then um, get there and then I remember sat, sat with Aston Brown Sean McGoldrick uh, I think Joe Joyce is there as well and then um, Lomachenko walks in and I'm we're not weighed in yet they do the press conference before the weigh in how, how unfair is that but I'm there doing 61 went up to 64 but I was doing 61 for WSB and Lomachenko walks in and I'm like oh, I wonder what he's doing there and they're like I bet he's here to fight you so I'm like oh, no I'm, I'm fighting this rubbish like, yeah. and then uh, their manager comes over the team manager, listen, Vudenko, he, he had the flu. Um, Lomachenko, we've just called Lomachenko today. He said he'll fight you. Like, as if he gets on the scales, ripped to death. He, they <laughs> yeah. knew, do you know what I mean? And then, um, oh, what an experience. But I remember the room we fought in was uh, as light as this. And like, it's not like English clouds. Like, you get hit and you just hear. It was, it was weird. Yeah. I was getting filled in and I just hear every now and then. Just yeah. <laughs> it was a backhand. <laughs> well, yeah, like, oh, for God's sake. What was it like being in the ring? How did you feel? Like, is he as good as what people He's say? He's unreal, lad. I, even just like, um, when I was waiting for him to come, so I got in first and I'm waiting for him to come, his son comes in, it's like, the champ's here. The champ's here. I was like, everyone's See, here. he's coming. Woo, it's going to be good. I was like, oh, no, I'm fighting him. He's going to kill me in <laughs> But uh, yeah, like the first round, I did all right. Um, I was throwing one, twos. Like, out, I threw, say I threw 100 shots. He might have threw five, six. But he did nothing. But he was just, he was just, Picking stuff up. Yeah, doing his yeah. data. He's just saying, oh, Sam does this. Okay, does a little feint here. Sam does that. Sam does this. And then the second round, he just took it up. Did just he? Just me in. Each then, round, just took just, it up a yeah. level and each time. In the fourth round, dropped me with a body shot. And then um, I remember uh, Dave Alloway was in the in the corner. I was looking at Dave, like, to say, like, I was getting filled in. There's no chance I could win the fight. He just body shot me. I was looking at Dave to say, like, just throw the towel in. Come, come on, Dave. Say <laughs> me. Dave, Dave just, like, looking away, wouldn't make high contact with me. I was like, oh, bloody hell. Go back to the corner. I thought he was going to stop me then. And then. Dave was like, oh, yeah, dude, just get through this round, Sam, da -da, and then get up. And like, Lomachenko could easy have stopped me that fifth round. I had nothing left, no energy. He dared me already, but he didn't. He carried me through it. And I thought, yeah. I respect him for that. Yeah, you he just carried me through it. Yeah, take, he, he couldn't take the piss. Took yeah. the piss out of me. Yeah. And he, he carried me through it. And then um, the second time I was supposed to fought him. So, you, so you, boom, man, you've already boxed him. Two weeks, like, not even long before, not long before, like, like say, like six weeks before I boxed him. But then um, it's supposed to be an Irish kid. Nevin, his name is Class. Yeah, David Nevin, I think. Is it uh, John Joe? Might be John Joe Nevin. Yeah, yeah, John Joe Nevin. And um, he said he just pulls out and says, no, you don't want to fight him. So then Josh, <laughs> Taylor's, the, Josh, Taylor, Josh Taylor's the next one. Josh is fighting him. Everything's sorted. Five weeks to... What, does, Josh Taylor versus Lomachenko? Yeah. Yeah, what a fight that would have been. It would have been class yeah. in London as well. And then um, Josh is training, doing well. He, he's sparring well. And then we do the last week, last bit of training before the fight week. We're going upstairs in the... Inside, if you have done that yet, yeah, stairs and run around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah. that. He goes over on his ankle. Bah, I'm hearing him scream. And I'm thinking, he best not be faking this. That's what I was thinking in my head. Yeah. He, he didn't want to fight Lomachenko, but nice. No, his ankle swollen off his pad. And then, so that's how I got drafted into box Lomachenko. So the second time, so bit... both times I went towards the bite him. <laughs> it was just meant to be. Yeah, I think it was but when he went over on that ankle. Oh, yeah. Looking away like that. I, I, I took one to check, see if it swelled up. <laughs> oh, it swelled up. I let him off. Oh, I've got to have to box him again here. But I'm glad I did because I boxed a lot better the second time. So, what did you take, like, what what was you thinking? What was your mind like? Obviously, you know what? I'm na a bit naive. I still was thinking I can beat him. I'm gonna win. Yeah, I think I'm that's how win. all boxers yeah. are like. No matter if you've just been pasted a week before, I think oh, I'll get him I next time. Yeah, I'll get him I next time. Yeah. this time. You've got to be a bit half delusional to be yeah, a boxer. Definitely, like, that's true. Yeah. I'll beat him. I'll beat him. And it's like realistically, you've no chance of beating him. And it's like, <laughs> but all the coaches be, as yeah. well, they're like, oh yeah, but you catch him with that. <laughs> you catch him with that back, and he's on the deck. And like yeah, it's hitting him though. That's the problem, isn't it? I never catch him. But I boxed well wet the second time. But again, first two rounds, full of energy, boxed well. And then I just, just died. Moments of my weight, I think, yeah. And it's, that what it was, the weight. Weight and, and obviously it's Lomachenko, but yeah, definitely the weight as well. Yeah, the mm. weight takes it. Well, WSB, was that day before weigh-ins? Day before weigh-in, but it was at 61. So I'd, I'd already moved up to 64. They got me back down to 61 for that. Yeah. But um, it paid well, you know. Did so it? So you got your GB funding. The first year, it was boss. They paid. Yeah, because you're like, oh, I you got your GB funding. And, and then they double... They, they got whatever you were getting on GB, they gave you as well. Who then the WSB did? Yeah. And then if you want to fight, you get whatever you would get again. So you say you got a grant, you was on a grand, you'd get two grand. Then if you won, you get three grand. You could get like five, six grand a month. Really? But I lost I lost all my fights the first year. So they bring didn't. the WSB back. In it. But then the next year, we all fought. Ev no one wanted to go in the first year. The second year, everyone wanted to go in. I was buzzing. I was still, obviously, I always got picked again because I'd already done five the first year. And um, yeah, they were like, no, I'd, no pay, you don't get paid this year. It's, it's like, oh. like if they're going to use this as an Olympic qualifier or Commonwealth qualifier or something, I was like, you, yeah. Got so, it. what they took the money away from? Yeah, no WSB. money. I hadn't, and that year I had seven WSB fights. Oh. Didn't you box a Cuban that year? Yeah, the last who one. Who was the, uh, Toledo. Yancia Toledo. Was he Olympic? 
bronze? Did he get a bronze? It, I think he got beat up Lomachenko in the 2012. Um, See, but if Lomachenko were about it, he'd be a multiple Olympic gold medalist, wouldn't he? And, but like, what would it, he like, the Cuban, compared to Lomachenko? Like, did, just, was it a different style? Yeah, what? punch a bit harder. Just Did he punch hard? Yeah, punch Cuban. hard. He was big. Lomachenko wasn't really... Yeah, he was, he was like a super blonde, fair, really, lately, yeah. yeah. And Toledo was just class, lad. Class. Was it? But um, I boxed... China first boxed brilliant, beat China. That was in January. Then I boxed oh, Morocco in Morocco. The, I, I, was, I, the tough Morocco, my last like, fight, the boxing uh, Moroc uh, Moroccan Olympian, like a lot older than me. Obviously, I'm still young, but he was. I think he was like 28. Tough, like he beat me on a free two, and it was like it's the first time I was in there. He felt it felt a bit more manly than than me. I was like, oh, he's quite tough this Moroccan, but I still. Still give it him a bit, like, Class. but yeah, the tough them rock. Tough, yeah, definitely. So I beat him, and then I was like, they're like, if you, if I won two more, I would have qualified for the Olympics. I would have qualified for something. I can't remember what it was, but then um, I boxed Russia next in Moscow, got filled in. What was that going to Russia? It was brilliant. Obviously, yeah. I bet that's a good. My brother's been. My brother's been to Russia. He said it was. He said it was a nice place, but it seemed. It was just, yeah, it was just. We don't see much, do we? Do, nah, do we see the people hotels? see oh, you going? Yeah. You go in, oh, wow, you're going. Oh wow, you've you been to Casablanca. Nice. It's not. You see no. the four walls of your hotel room and the four walls of a boxing arena, that's didn't it. you? People, you're living out of suitcase, right? That's you? it. Yeah, it's hard. People, but, but Moscow was like, yeah, it was. It was all right. The people. Maybe not smiley, do you mean? Just yeah. a bit more serious, but it was a nice, nice place. Nice. Looked after us. Who did you box over there? Was he good, the Russian? Ah, uh, he was the not. Yeah, I think he was might have been world number one at the time, or like he was up there. Dunsanayev, his name was class Olympian again. I don't know if he's won um, silver in the Olympics or bronze. Yeah, he done really well. Good kid. First round again, class. Then I just died of death. Yeah, just, just uh, blow yourself out in the first. I was was that with the weight just, catching I up? I think yeah. it's just psychological and the weight catching up on me. Yeah. So, yeah, just like I knew I was boxing someone good. It's like yeah, just it does. It's like you're thinking all the time, aren't you? And I think that takes it out of you more Energy than actually wise, doing definitely. it wise. Because yeah, you start flopping, don't you? And yeah. you're like, and then you get near to where's that, that bell? Makes you... <laughs> 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 That's what you're thinking. Yeah, that was a long ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> where would you say the best? country you went with uh, amateur boxing wise we never Josh. see all these new these new kids they get to go spain and brazil yeah. and all this i've i've had three tournaments now on gb two of them been in benadol ah oh, see come like, on like that's like a bit different from moscow in it Kazakhstan. Like, like we've had it easy the first year to be fair but it won't be like that forever no jam i like germany did you yeah I like germany so i've never been to germany yeah, Kazakhstan was tough kazakhstan obviously the hardest was Kazakhstan yeah, yeah. the hardest player? Yeah, because they just they just won it, don't they? And it's like, yeah. do you know it's tough? It's gonna be tough. But then um, where else have we been? France. I love going to France for training camps. They're always good, like the sparring boss. I mean, it's like the dog. It's like, France, okay. France are very underrated, aren't they? As a boxing nation. Yeah, like, I know. I know. If you even as a pro, if you box someone from France or Belgium, they're gonna be good. They're gonna be good. Yeah, they're just good boxing. Good boxing nations. Good boxing nations. Um, but I saw about the sparring in France. It's like the mayor of a gym. All oh, everyone's around the ring. They got their number one, our number one, and it's just it was class. It was one of my best memories. We're all cheer every time you hit them. You're cheering, and oh, it was brilliant. Did you class. ever go to America with the amateur, like to the American setup? Because that was a good setup in California. Not yeah. California. Where is it? Um, Colorado Springs. Yeah. I think just the cycle after me went on 2016 cycle, but I'd already left. So like Cordina, yeah, Fraser, so, all them, they went past. So this is coming up to Rio 2016, and That was it, yeah. And you was going for the spot at Rio. Yeah. And it's 64 kilo. Yeah. And then what so, what happened there? Like, so, like, I was... I hit a bit of bad form, and then um, Pat McCormick was hitting his good form, and he just bumped Pat's took unreal, up. Yeah, unreal, mate. Still, he'll, he'll do a lot in the pros, won't he? I think so. He He's just so patient. He did, so he, he did two cycles as well, didn't he? So, did, well, yeah, true. He did the Rio, and then... Tokyo Stayed again, yeah. He was unlucky not to win gold in Tokyo. Yeah, he bumped into the Cuban. Oh, is that who it was? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. What's he called? Cruz. Man? Nah. Um, Glazers. Glazers. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bald fella. Yeah. Yeah. And he's been around for some time. Yeah. He, he, he was at 2012, and then did he skip 2016? You and then he was back at 2020. One, one, it's mad, that isn't it? Pat, yeah, Pat's class, mate. Yeah. So what? You was it in bad form? Pat was coming. Yeah, and Pat was just winning everything, winning everything. Really impressing in training, pads, and then yeah. Come from out of nowhere, I not Iris. Like he'd been boss junior, he'd been a brilliant junior. But yeah, like I remember boxing him, sparring, come up sparring on the squad at sixty. I would get the better of him. Then each spar, he, he just, Pick I was winning. Then suddenly he was even, and then suddenly every spar he was winning, and I wasn't looking for swap forward to spar and Pat. Then it was yeah, kind of like that to he's me. He's getting bigger and yeah. getting sharp, and it's yeah. like, so then they took. 
Did you get a qualifier for that one or not? No, no. Just so, not even close. I was a close to 2012, 2016. I was miles away. Yeah, Pat, we did well qualified. Pat, yeah. So did you go out to Rio with the squad? We went not? into... No, no you we went, went to, to Rio, though, didn't you? yeah. We went to the test event. How was yeah. that? Brilliant. Um, like, Fraser went, Boatsy, I think Galal went. It was Some a good squad. Team, that, innit? Yeah, it was a good squad good just luck. for the test event. Yeah. It was brilliant, that. You all went You went to Mexico as well, didn't you, for the WSB? Mexico, w, yeah. Who Mexico went on that squad to Mexico? Was a few, Lyndon Arf was on there, wasn't he? No. Was that, uh, was he not? No, no he, he was a bit, he was, a, the, the, even at different weights, so different weights go at different times. There was like 10 weights, five went together, five uh, went together. Yeah, yeah. So I think we had Joe Joyce, Sean McGoldrick, me, then we had some um, Estonian kid, Beast, I'll tell you a story about him now. Yeah. And then um, Babaka Kamara, I think he was Swedish. But um, the Estonian kid, so we got out two, two weeks before, yeah, because uh, to acclimatise. Yeah. And then, uh, so they shouldn't have told us this. They're like, you're going to be tired. He's going to be, it's going to take it out of you. Um, they drill it into your yeah. mind. And then, then I'm thinking, even though yeah, you're not tired. I am, I am yeah. tired. Yeah, what? Well, I'm feeling it. Yeah. And then uh, we stay out for two weeks doing training. And we're all just thinking we're tired. We uh, we fight tired. Box this kid. Box again. Box good first round and just got tired. This Estonian kid came the day before, gets in, fills his kid in, flies home. I thought, <laughs> they you know, didn't didn't their team didn't yeah. have the money to stay for two weeks. He came, filled everyone in, That's what you went home. Yeah. <laughs> Took care of him. He's like, yeah, that's not tired. He just came, yeah, it's true. Because I just wish we would have done that. And did you all win or not? Yeah, I was um, Sean McGoldrick won. Um, it was Aston Brown. Aston Brown got beat. Was Aston Brown or Babaka Kamara? I think it's Kamara. Kamara got beat. Um, Joe Joyce won. Sean McGoldrick won. I lost. Yeah, yeah, but they're tough. Them you don't see a lot of top level at. Mexican amateurs no here, but good pros yeah very good pros and the lad that beat tough. me he's a, he's a good pro now well to it I think he was yeah yeah good record good record so after this what was your thoughts like obviously you said you're miles away from qualifying for Rio did you know that deep down yeah I was still like, qualifying. yeah did I you know that. like, like you just it's the monthly money it's the the consistency the safety, you're like, scared and then the coaches are telling you pros rubbish you don't go pro that kind yeah, of thing yeah yeah and I remember 2016, Rob was like, stay on, you go, you can do the W, you can be our WSB fighter, and um, you can do go the WSBs. I was like, nah, it's don't all right. Don't fancy that. Yeah, went. So uh, yeah, just got, went up to the squad and um, yeah, 10 pro. Was it a tough, like when you got into boxing, did you, it was that the end goal? Would like, would you rather be an Olympic gold medalist or did you want to be a world champion? Like kids say, oh no, I'd, they don't, a lot, especially these days, a lot more kids turning professional young and not really caring about the amateurs. But what was you like when you first got into boxing? Did you think, Oh, I want to be an Olympic gold medalist. How did you think? Let's I never even title. thought that far ahead. You know, I didn't, didn't expect myself to, to to do what I did. I just say I just loved boxing, loved it being around, but I didn't have like didn't set myself. I just want to want to be, and just want want to do. I just yeah, just carried with the ca what, carried with the wave kind like, of things. I mean, just buzzing to get yeah. how far you got. Then, then going to Finn, like then boom, 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 boom. I was like, the, just the targets just kept going higher and higher. Yeah, but um, I do remember my coach, my first coach at higher side. He um, wrote had a gum shield, gold gum shield case. I remember. I wish I could have kept it. And um, he wrote, "I will be a world champion on it," and gave it me. He said, "Ah, oh, that's your Sam." I always remember that. Yeah, Dave Mackay, my first that's coach. Good. Yeah, do you still speak to him now? Or not? He's died. Oh, yeah. has he? He oh. died. Yeah, yeah. But, but did it, you always sound with him, even though you moved to the yeah. Like, like, was he always? He, he's the reason why I fell in love boxing. I think there was any other coach I might not have. Like he was like. You for a kid as well, ten year old kid. It was just funny. Told stories. It was like a. It was brilliant. Yeah, that's what people made it don't fun. Yeah, people don't realize that with boxing gyms, do they? Like, it's like You're a home for yeah, kids, exactly. Like, that's what it kids felt like for me. Like, it's like, I'd be, I'd be goose without the boxing club. Like, it's, it's my life. And really, I started when I was nine years old, same gym. And it's like now I'm doing the kids sessions in the Boxer. gym, and I'm like, oh, that used to be me. And it's like, when you're in the boxing gym, it's like you feel at home, don't you? Like, yeah. it, a lot of kids come just for an hour away, and it's like quality places. I don't get why they're not. They're not funded. A lot of them aren't funded. As much as it should be, definitely not. Amateur boxing, it, it saves kids' lives, doesn't it? And people don't realise that. Yeah. It's massive. It gave me a place to be. I know that I was, I was like, a lot going of through hard times and, and it just, that was just, boxing was just, was, yeah. was brilliant. That's what it's like. A lot, it's just like an hour away from everyone, isn't it? Yeah. You just go to the boxing gym, you do yeah. your thing. And it's like, what, a pound a session or something? Do you yeah. mean it's like, not, not like our gym now, it's still £3.50 a session. It's like, like it's not. It's yeah. nothing really, is it? And obviously, and people know they can come to our gym if you've not got three pound fifty. Yeah, you can go. They, you know, don't worry about it. it. Just that's right. Like, jump in if you're struggling. You still come. Do you know yeah. what I mean? A lot of kids do know that, and it's it's a good place. Yeah, people don't talk about them enough, though, do they? But definitely not. Nah. So now professional. What was it like? How did it go? Because it's a lot of kids scared to turn professional. No, I wouldn't say scared, but they're worried, aren't they? Because you got to have the right team. It's a business. Yeah, it is a business. Like it's not a hobby anymore, is it? No. When you're turning professional, it's not about who's the best anymore? It's about Who's from most market? Well, a hobby business? to a job, doesn't Definitely. it? Definitely, yeah. Massive. That's what it felt like. So, 
obviously being Team GB, winning all these tournaments, WSBs, did you have a lot of attention when you when you put it out there or not? Like, how did it go about? That's a, and I knew I always knew I was gonna I would be alright, but um, no boxing wasn't as big as it is. I can't explain it, not as big as it, it goes through cycles. Don't it, it is, isn't it? It was going through a low cycle at the time, I think. Um, and uh, but Frank Warren, so I had my debut it was like on a small little show. Um, wasn't wasn't no fanfare. On so a, did you get? A, did, was you on a contract straight out off a of GB? Like how did it go? Like so I got my managers. I got joined um, my managing team. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about them, but anyway, they <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> I, they got um, gave me fun, uh, sponsorship straight away, so it was like I didn't lose any money. They they just matched what GB would give me for a year, ah. so it gave me a good little so you put had, in. You had yeah, a bit of solid, yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, so you didn't on. have to go into work. Or you no, just went straight just for GB straight to full time professional. I only look back now. I'm like, how lucky I am. I was talking to some lad the other day from by mine. And he's like, he had the full time job and then was trying to box around that. I'm like, I couldn't have done professional that. boxing. Tough in it. You, some kids are working six in the morning till four at night and then they go in the gym and the gym. The gym's hard enough. Tickets, like, I running know. about selling tickets and it's like No way I could do that. Kids don't realise that when they're turning pro, it's like you've got to be all in, haven't you? You've yeah. got it's, you've you got to believe in yourself. Yeah, that you have to. It's not easy. Nah, it's not people think, Oh, I'll go around to turn people on a pro boxer. It's not all that. You've got to sell tickets. Are and you not are you not doing anything no. either? And then Especially if you're not a top amateur, if you've not been to all these big tournaments, Team GB, yeah, you're gonna struggle, you aren't you? Have to be a boss you to just got believe that, yeah. in yourself. Yeah. So what? Yeah, you full time training, and then how did you get in touch with Frank Warren? Obviously through management. Through the management, yeah, they got, and then Frank Warren had just gone in his de be, uh, deal with BT, so it was back perfect time. Both yeah. time signed me, signed a load of so signed a load of boxes then, uh, so yeah, straight onto TV. Yeah, buzzing. buzzing. Yeah. So you de how many did you have? Like, so people. Straight into a four rounder, a six rounder. Four, yeah, four rounder boxer uh, journeyman. This week on this small old show. Tough them journeyman, aren't they? But I've come from GB, so I was, and I'm thirteen yeah, WSB fights. Boxing, I'm like, why are they trying to hit me back? Yeah. Like, what's happening here? Like, just punch, punch them everywhere. I was like, well, this is just mad. But um, it is what it is. But I made no money. Like, did you not make any no money at the money. start? My kick people don't see that. People think, oh, he's boxing on telly. He's making money. No, nah. it's not all sunshine and rainbows, nah, is yeah. it? Like once you put the training camp and your your kit, it's like it's like it's it's nothing, mate. Nah. So you didn't make any serious money up until what what fight would you say? Oh, got got good money, yeah. Like maybe like your sixth, tenth. Ma, maybe like fifteenth or something. Yeah, it's yeah. mental, isn't it? Like, it's not like like I go to school. I've been schools touring schools and talking to the kids. They say so. I carry my belts with me in this um, silver suitcase, and the kids are like, "What's in there?" I said, "What do you think's in there?" They said, "Money." money. I said, "Money." <laughs> Give me <laughs> some money. And then they say, they say, "They say you're a millionaire." And they say, "Millionaires, you box on TV, you Sky." It's yeah. It's I not. I don't want to kill their dreams, but like, nah. It's not all that, is <laughs> no. it? It's not all paychecks and TV cameras. Not and at all. And that. Not it's one. Very bit. like one yeah. percent of them do that. That's what I mean. It's you just get, a job. It's that one percent of world title challenge. Challengers and TV pay per view stars, they're making serious cash, aren't they? Yeah, and then the rest of us, it's people think, oh, he's boxing British title level. He must be making a few quid, he's making a living out of it. But once you paid all your things off, like it's hard, isn't nothing it? left in it. So, what would you say in the professionals? You kind of opened your eyes and thought it's a tough game. Obviously, the Seber, Seberry fight was it? Yeah, that was quality. I remember watching that live, that was unreal. What, yeah. was, your, what was that fight like? Quality. So, I was supposed to be boxing the lad, and we planned for him, we trained for him, different, good style, and then um, he pulled out for injury the month before. So they put the title back for the next month. But he, he's, I don't know what happened, he, he couldn't box for it. So they last minute, like they couldn't get no opponent for me, but it was still for the title. And then like three or four days before they get this Sabiri. So in my head, I'm like, I've just been knocking everyone out early. Like these all these, yeah. journey, I've been boxing like 12, 10 journey, nine journeymen. I was like, and you come from the amateurs. You, that should yeah. never have happened for me. But anyway, you come from boxing Lomachenko, the Cubans, the Russians. No, they just want to. They just want you to knock them out so they can get out. Yeah. But um, yeah. So I've been boxing people like that. And so I just think I my last three three day replacements because it's gonna be another kid like that. I want to smash him. Got uh, and then uh, go to weigh in, and he's he's got his massive trainers on about that big, standing on his tiptoes. Yes. But like, yeah. He's only so little. Like, he's oh, only he's, little. Yeah, he's only little. I'm like, he's game, this kid, though. He looks game, man. But then I was thinking, he, he, he can be yeah. game and smash him. And then, uh, yeah, just not how it panned out. Like, I was I, I, but Did you, you look, feel all right on the night? Or was it what? I felt what? like I did against all the journeymen, do you mean? Yeah. Like, I'm felt... now I'm actually boxing and fighting someone. Yeah, like, yeah. And, and uh, I bet that was hard coming from boxing GB. You'd be so active all the time, like, boxing. You know, every fight you have at GB, it's not going to not gonna be easy, is it? No, Anyone you box, no matter where they're from, they're going to be needing to be your best. They're going to give you a good fight, aren't they? And then, You've had kind of two or three years it's now where you've just been over. 
you've been rolling bin men over, aren't you? And you're like, <laughs> so I'm, you're, you're I'm, feeling I'm, yourself. I'm so like, strong. So you kind of you kind of switched off a bit from that mindset of being on GB. Yeah. You think I'm in a tough fight, yeah? D definitely. Uh, that's that's how my career panned out. And uh, luckily, some people learned that on a loss. I got to learn that on a win. Yeah, that but, was uh, mental though. So the first round you come out this fight. I I'll just have a little look at him. Boom, boom, nails me. First round. First round. Puts me down, hard. and it was heavy knockdown. Yeah, yeah. The, the second one wasn't heavy, but the first one was. It could have. I, if I, I think if I fell on my back, I would have wouldn't have been able would, to get up. But I, the way I fell, I felt like just just dropped onto my like I can't explain. Like just folded. Yeah, so like, my, a chin, my, like a deck chair. I, yeah, so my legs wouldn't go down. So then I remember just looking at Steve Gray and he's counting. I'm just slowly standing up, and he, um, Steve Gray gave me the eight count. But then was the it kid, early in the round? Like a minute. A minute into the fight. Yeah. But then not he, he's hit me when I'm down. The kid, luckily, but he only scoffed me, but he's hit me. But so Steve goes, wait there. After he's counting me up, da -da, he goes, wait there, and goes and shouts at him. Give you gives me another 20 seconds. Probably been kind there, right? Yeah, I think probably, so, yeah. yeah I think so. He's probably Don't be a favour no, there. I'll do him a favour, yeah? yeah. You, you, owe me, you owe him a thank you. Yeah. What, did he go over to the corner? Yeah, gave him, gave me like fake seconds. Goes over to him and says, hey, you hit him on the bell, da -da, warn him, said, don't do that again. And then fight. Cool. And then, anyway. Did you again that round? No, got through the round. Second round. So what did what? So you sat down at the end of the first. Who's in your corner? <laughs> like I've never been even hit. <laughs> Fights have been knocking everyone out first yeah. round. They're like, <sighs> I'm like, what's up? Been hit? What's up? Been down? And then Danny's like, calm down, da da. You 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 box you boxing you boxing well till then. He just just blowing some up. But same again. Just go out box nice. So get out. Yeah, I'm boxing nice this time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like I'm not being knocked down. I'm winning the round. Last thirty seconds again. Bomb catching me. Goes Second down again. round, so yeah. The first and the second, second round. Oh, thinking, oh. that more of a flash knockdown. <laughs> yeah, mate, I'm, I go back to the corner after the second, get up. Obviously, I'm just laughing because it didn't hurt me this one. The first one hurt me, but the second one was just like, oh, so annoying. I go back to the corner and think, I'm four rounds down. It's been two rounds. Yeah, people don't realise <laughs> that when you get knocked down, it turns to a 10 8 round, doesn't it? No matter how well you were doing, so you could have been boxing the face off him in that first round. You get dropped 10 it's 8 rounds. Round, round, so you lost. After two rounds, you're four rounds down. Yeah, it's only been two and rounds. it's a 10 rounder. Yeah, exactly. So got, realistically, now you know in your head, your back's against a wall. You've got to win the next six, uh, eight rounds to win the to fight. Get fight yeah. Mental. And that's what was going. It's like I was I was doing really well every so round. Would you win in the rounds then? So you've been knocked down twice. You'd but every round I'm, is the same again. I'm doing good. I'm winning round, and I'll get it. Get clipped I, with I, an I get, He's one of them awkward kids. Boom! What was just hands up, bang, yeah. And then, what fair play to him? Like, that's how. That's the only way he could have beat me. And, he, and yeah. it was working. Yeah. And then the tenth round, I remember Danny's. So like, was you down here in the tenth? Like going no, into the my last coach, round. On the scorecards, I wasn't, but the public would have said. I'm the down. I need. Me. Yeah, I would yeah. have lost the. I've lost the fight. I've been knocked down twice early on, and this kid's catching me. Then tenth, Danny says to me, um, "You got to win this round. Like, obviously, you got to win this round. You got to. You got to knock him out here." But like, he just was trying to hype me up. So I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, got it. I've got it. Don't yeah. worry." That wobbles me again. Boom, nearly go down again. Uh, but instead of like, as I nearly go down, he's like, he, "Yeah, he's, I've seen it. Don't me, mate. We'll, we'll try and get a clip of it, but he just dances in front yeah. of you, doesn't he? He's like, he's like, he's like, he thinks he's won. He thinks oh, I've got him here, and then." Mm. You just what happened then? You step back, don't you? And then what? Well, we so yeah. so my legs are on me. I'm like sweet. And then in my head, I'm just thinking, just let me get this guy. Let me hit this guy. That's honestly that's what I was thinking. So I'm thinking, let me, as I'm looking at him as he's dancing around there, because I knew he was tired as well. Because he was trying to make me on you because he's it. Yeah, he's, he's tired. He must be yeah. tired because he's showboat. Show, 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 show boat. Did that piss you off? It, should, it it wasn't even that. I was just like, let me catch him. Yeah, yeah. It must it must have pissed me off. Yeah, I was like, let me catch him. And then it just I throw the right hand off. Catches him and misses. Then I throw it again, knocks him off. It's magic. It's like no, it's like back. twenty seconds left of the fight. It was crazy. Like a story. It is a story. It was because that went viral, didn't it? Yeah, all over the place. Yeah, yeah. And two right. And when I watch it back, I'm like, yeah, it, it should have. That, that was mental. Was a, it that was one. Yeah. So you down, knocked him spark out in the last round, jumping about everywhere. What was that yeah. for? What title was that for? WBO European. WBO European. I remember him standing up. And I, he's wobbly. I was thinking, stay, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> stop the fight. Steve, stop the fight. And Steve, stop that was buzzing. Yeah, yeah, jumping about. Yeah, I was buzzing. So after that fight, what happened after that? Obviously, that went a bit viral. It went viral. I should have been out should straight away. Yeah, 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 kept the momentum, get me out. But there's something that's going on with the management team and the promotion team. Uh, I didn't box until July. I was like, and what month was this fight in, sorry? This was in March. So you've had like four months off, really? Four months and off. Like... But I boxed a journeyman. Yeah. In July. Need... like... So who did you box after Siberi? A box of... Another journey, was it another journeyman? This journeyman. Was, that, then, was yeah. this just like a get back into it fight? Yeah, it's like it's just stupid. And then I boxed him, um, defending my title at the end of the year against a lad called Connor Parker, who was a, who was a good opponent, undefeated. Uh, undefeated. Um, yeah, good good, good, fight. good performance, yeah. But I, I got, got it, everything wrong then. My mate was boxing in Dubai, my training partner was boxing in Dubai the week before. So I go out with him to Dubai. 
shouldn't have. Shouldn't and have then, done it. Yeah, uh, two weeks before, sorry, and I get home, so I've only got a week to my fight. And I was, I was, was you training in Dubai? Yeah, not really. Yeah, training, but it's not it's not as hard as you should no, be. Not, yeah, definitely not not eating. I was eating carrot cakes and yeah. Oh, I love stupid. good carrot cake. Meat. It's good in it. <laughs> Quality. If I can have I'd one thing not eat all day and then just have a slice of carrot, carrot cake. Yeah, yeah it doesn't really that's, not, that's my sweet tooth, that yeah. carrot cake. Yeah, definitely. It's dynamite, it? So yeah, it's hard, but like, you know, you don't train nowhere near as good as when you're at your home gym, do you? I find that like. You go into Sheffield, but when, well. you, when you're in momentum at your own gym, you train in the morning, you train at night, you're flying, aren't you? Yeah. Like, you've got it set. I think that's hard with a lot of boxers because they find change hard, don't they? Because you've gone from training in your gym from being nine years old to a set routine. It's hard to break that routine, yeah. isn't it? And it's a yeah. mental thing more than anything. Yeah, definitely. It's like you don't want to break that routine. Do you think it's not broken? Why try and fix like? Don't, you don't need fixing. Just yeah. to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, I would think with me with my with my amateurs because I'm high side was so it's mad looking back. Twelve years there, but it was like sporadic. And then Solly was like brilliant training, world class. But then it was like a year boom. Right, there wasn't really use to that. And then straight to GB, it was like GB though was was regimented. Yeah, I was definitely. There, especially when I was on podium, it was like Monday to Thursday, three three or four times a day. Sparring, like so much sparring. People don't realise how hard the sparring is up there as well, do they? Because you fight, you're sparring people who want your spar. You want their spar. No like, spar. Well, there is a bit like you get, you, you do get your tech spars and the sp some even kid, them though. Some kids don't understand what a tech spar no, is, do they? And no, it's like one two's just, just jabs on the back. It's like, oh, yeah, it's like you can't have an off day though, really, can you? Nah. And then loads of nations come up sparring us all the time. So like, I remember Ireland came sparring us one time, and then we get up, do the track. Do SNC and Shadow. And they and then come straight out they, of bed, don't they? They, they? they come to the track in the morning, just walked around. Because oh, you know what they're coming for? They're coming for the quality of the sparring. Yeah, they're not they're we, not here for... For training, they need to get fitter. Yeah. I was training. They're just so you've done sparring. 3K on the track. You've squatted 100 kilo. Yeah, you've for checked your weights every day, every track. second of every day. And you're getting in the ring heavy-legged, tired, and then the Irish jumping fresh. <laughs> Threes and fours. Oh, <laughs> it's not what you want, is it? <laughs> it's hard work. Yeah. It's hard work. Um, I know, sorry, Uzbekistan, another time. They came down sparring us. Oh my God. The Uzbeks are killing it. Unreal, unreal anyway. People but don't, then yeah. People they made those wears 14s, I think I was wearing then. These, it's Uzbekistan, these crusty 10 ounce on the sweat. And uh, it's the first time I've ever been winning this. So I'm, I'm still getting stuck into him for a one, two. As I throw my backhand, he just south balls, just leans back, bolo left hand, boom. And straight then, to the ribs. Straight to the solar plexus. I was finished. But then, um, <laughs> On the deck. I, I, on the I'm going on the deck. I'm, no, no. I'm not going to finish up. I'm, I, my legs are working. My legs are like, I ain't going down. Then, uh, so I'm, but I'm looking at the coaches. <laughs> save me. I can't breathe. Like, this kid's just filling me in. I'm, yeah. like, I'm blocking my head. I'm just blocking my hands. He's filling me in. Blah, blah, blah. I'm looking like, why I'm not stopping it? But I got, it was the longest, uh, longest right at the start of the round as well, but longest three minutes I had. But yeah, I got through it. Bro, yeah. That was the first, first time I've been winning. Yeah. Was, so body, yeah. Body, a he, good body shot. 10 times. Well, where's the headshot, headshot in Yeah. It? I think he went on to win gold medal, that kid. Yeah. The class he was. Mental. Yeah, Olympic gold medal. So then, obviously, the pro journey. Oh, yeah, back to the pros. Um, you've defended the WBO European. British and Commonwealth is after that. So I defended against Conor Parker. Then, um, oh, yeah, then COVID. So COVID hits. Oh, yeah. Co so then. That, but, I bet that killed you. Oh, it, man. It? My peak. I was at my peak. That, then yeah, years. and then two years just gone. And some people <laughs> box no time. So I'm, I guess I'm blessed that I got to box two times. But What, in COVID? Yeah. So was this behind closed doors? Yeah, box Joe, Joe Hughes behind closed doors. What was that like, boxing hey, It was mad. Doors. It was mad. It's like... Um, Did it feel like a fight or not? Because some you people need like some... The crowd. You Josh Warrington's and... You, well, well, you Ricky Atten's. They, sometimes they needed a Definitely. crowd behind yeah. them, didn't they? A lot of... A lot of fighters will need that crowd behind them. What were you like? Did, was you a big ticket seller or what? Like, no, did you need no, good... yeah, no, I didn't. I feel like, especially coming from GB as well, we don't have no crowds, do we? So yeah. I was off. I'm off. Uh, to it, like, yeah, that you're boxing in a sports hall in the middle of nowhere, yeah, right? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's just quiet. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it was, it was weird. It was like um, you could hear everything. You could hear the commentary team as I'm fighting Joe. He's <laughs> like, so, turn around. What's it's going on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I'm looking tired. I was like, I'm, I'm not tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> But uh, it was a. It, but some people didn't get to box for two years, so I was I was lucky at box. But that was my peak. Joe Hughes was my peak. So Joe was Hughes that was Joe a Hughes fight. When what was that for? That was for the my defending my WBO European, European, European again in um, August. Was it in the BT Sports Studio? Studio yeah. in London. That was so really? mad. Yeah, yeah, it was mad. It was mad. Great. Experience. Was it like a bubble. Like, did you have what did you do for the weigh-ins and like? With yeah, the, and, like, with the bowl, hotel? yeah, not like that. The hotel. They've, they've, um, they brought, they get tested every day. That's another panic. You, yeah, every day you get tested. Because you're thinking about, oh, I if I test positive COVID here, I'm out. I'm out and I'm locked in my room for two weeks. Yeah. Oh, 
It was a bit mad, really, looking back at it. It was a mad two years ago, my life. I forgot about it. It was, it was so and strange. People have forgot about it now, haven't they? Yeah. Like, you was like, you couldn't come out of your house for two years. It's like, what? Mental. <laughs> Mental. For the, yeah, after Joe Hughes had boxed, so the British champion and Commonwealth champion at that time was Akeem Ennis Brown. And he put a Who's post. Who's Akeem Ennis Brown? Ennis Brown, yeah. yeah. He put a post on Twitter saying, who should I fight next? He piggy put me, Robbie Davis, and Tyrone McKenna, something like that. Yeah. So I, I tweet the replies out, fight me. And then I got all, I messaged everyone saying, retweet that, post that again, get on, so yeah, all mates on it. Yeah. it. Yeah. So like, he was gutted because no one else was voting for Robbie Davis or McKenna. They were just voting, like, I had about yeah, yeah. 100 votes. So he, had, he was like, oh, da, da, da. he didn't really want to fight me. But um, Frank Warren made it. They, they got it sorted. I was supposed to fight him in, um, for ages, even it was ages till they finally got made for January. And it, it fell through. Last fight week, it fell through. That fight, fight week. fell through? Yeah. So he, he pulls Did that happen often in the pros? It seems to happen all the time. Yeah. Like, that's why a lot of kids pack in the pros, isn't it? Because it gets to fight week Boom. and the Some fights fall through. And if, it could have happened a few it's, times and then you from don't get my paid, side. Do you? Don't, you don't get paid exactly. You spent all your money on this camp. That's what people don't see as well. You spent all this money on this camp sparring partners. Uh, your training's not cheap, is it? Your food, no. your meal preps. And it's like, now you're not getting paid at the end of the week. And it's That's you, why you need to be with a big promoter as well. Because like, if you was with at the end, Frank Warren, if your fight falls through for your opponent's sake, they'll get someone in for you, draft someone in, to, so yeah. you're still making a little bit so of money. So you're still getting some money, yeah. So that's, what a lot, that that's what a lot of people jack the sport in, isn't it, really, especially in the professionals, because no money. Wow, you, like, you can't afford to do it anymore, no. can you? you? You're better off going working on the building site. 100%. Like You'd make more money, wouldn't you? Far more money. Yeah, it's mental. So that fell through with a key Fell through a Ben boxing lad called Ben Fields, tough, tough fighter, and um, got the win, but then that was going to get rearranged, but then I didn't end up fighting him till. August, exactly the same day as I boxed Joe Hughes the year before, August 28th. So you was out for a year then? <sighs> Just so see, oh, yeah, it's a lot of it. That's what I mean, that's I was why. At my best. And you missed really full two years of COVID and then after COVID, the not fight fine. falling through and then another year. It's not nice, is it? No, that's it what. Is. That's one thing you don't want as a fighter as well, inactivity. Kills yeah. a lot of people, doesn't it? I, just I look flat. back, I've got no regrets, but then I'm like, that maybe, yeah, I wish that would have worked. But it's not, it's not your fault. Yeah, it's is not it? in my like, hands. Yeah, yeah. True. There's so many people what you rely on in professional, what like your opponent, your promoter, your manager. People don't see it, do they? No. So then you fought for the British and. Fought with that, beat him, in a debatable decision. People, the commentary I did. What against, was that? I felt who, like. Who was it with? Who was Akeem it with? Menis Brown. It was a close fight, but um, it could have gone either way, kind of thing. But I felt like I pushed it at around 11 and 12. What was the commentary against you? Frampton and that. Bunch Frank of, Warren. Frampton. Sorry, oh, Frampton. Frampton. They, 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 they had to be like five, six rounds on, down. Get, get, give it him now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Brampton, you're having it. I was a fan of him. I was a fan of him. I was like, he don't even like me, man. So what was it? What was he saying? Yeah, Bunsi Richie Woodle, Woodle, Team GB guy, my guy. <laughs> me, ghost going against me. I thought, you know what? What, did, like the, what did the judges have it? The judges had me winning by like unanimous. two. Yeah, unanimous. Not not even like split. Unanimous me winning by two or three rounds. Oh, so it's... There's only Frampton had me six rounds down and then everyone who's watching at home because they was followed the... Was Akeem brain? With Frank Warren as well? No. No, he was. So that's why, that's, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that was even more annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you're the, you're the own boy. Oh, and, I'm a boy. And Richie you've got a unanimous up. decision. No, you're the worst. We're supposed to be friends. We've done pads together. You know what? <laughs> Blame me. We've done pads together. We're, yeah. we're, we're friends. We're best friends. But then he was my, my assessment coach, Richie. Yeah. He never picked me. He picked Antonio Cunan. He don't like me, him. You don't think he likes he you? He doesn't like me. Um. Nah. Richie, you're watching. I know you don't like me. <laughs> nah, I, don't I still train with him. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> so then, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Um, you but win that. Win that. Then buzzing. Then. British buzzing. Commonwealth. So when you first got into no, that's so what everyone was. So I've got my belts on my on my thing. I'm absolutely. I've just done a mind. Childhood dream win the British yeah, Commonwealth. Everyone who gets into boxing, you oh, know the, the, how the prestigious the British title as well. Nicest belt, lovely. I grew up watching all these stuff, Barnstormers on Sky when I was younger. And everyone. I've got it there and I'm buzzing. I've just got the result, close fight, but I won. Get out the ring, they say. First interviewer, what's her name? Melissa Andrews or something. Like that. With like, this BT Sport, this? No, I think she was just independent. She went, oh, um, how do you feel after that? I was like, dad, childhood dream, buzzing. buzzing. Yeah. She went, but... um. Do you feel like you won the fight? And I was thinking, I've already I'm, so why the fight of that question? Especially it, my if you're all like, adrenaline like, like, running. Uh, yeah, yeah, four one. What'd you, and she went, that's not what it's saying on Twitter. And I was like, lad, it was just like it doesn't matter, does it? Lad, it was like I lost. Uh, Did that piss the you fight? Off? I feel like I lost. So I go back to my room as well. My managers, it was Tom Stoker at the time. 
He was to- he was Akeem's. That's Maddo, Tom's. You've gone from boxing him to he's now. Manager, he's my manager, yeah. Yeah, it's mental. He was Akeem's manager as well. He comes in, he says, Sam, do you want my honest, honest opinion? I was like, yeah. He went, I didn't think he won that. I was like, I'm in my changing room with my belts on my, on my shoulder. I first felt like throwing him out the window. Did, did you go mad? No, I was just like, really? all right, sweet. Why? Like, yeah. Cause you like, don't say that. Do you mean, I, even if you felt like that, you don't say it. Especially straight after the fight. Like, oh, no, he's mini. Come on, mini. Yeah, come on. Right oh, man. I was like, oh, okay. So then that's it then. It's like I lost in my, I just had the biggest achievement in my life. And then it's like I lost. Yeah. yeah. So you had your five minutes and then you've yeah. gone to changing rooms and everyone's telling you you've been beat. Even your own manager's telling you you've been beat. You beat, like, me. You beat me there. Do you want my honest opinion? I was like, I should have said, no, no, no you know t- what? Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Let me enjoy it. <laughs> Let me enjoy this moment. It's this lifetime yeah, moment. British, British but, and Commonwealth. That's more than, that's what you set out to do really, isn't it? British yeah, there's more than, like, if I, if, Obviously. I, I think when I turn when I turn pro, I was like, I'd be happy if I win a British title. That, that's my A lot of do people set that bar at British title, didn't they? Yeah. That was Personally, I want like. a British title, but I'd always, I always want more anyway. Like, yeah, that's pitching a, more than pitching like, more, division you, more than. I'd... Yeah, you do. You, you want to go right to the top, don't yeah. you? That's why I, I don't think I'd turn professionally if I didn't think I could do but, that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's what you want to do. See, my, I'm the other way. I was like, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, do you know. What <laughs> I mean? had the wrong. People, people... I, I don't know how I did so well, you know, because I don't have that mind, that mindset that mind come, come top. Want to be the life. best? I maybe, yeah. I, maybe I would have been different. See, being I, best like, was like that. If I didn't think, if I couldn't see myself winning a world title, I wouldn't. I wouldn't turn professional. Wow. Like, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't do it. But yeah. everyone's different, and Some people set out for an English. Some people set out for a European, British, but... Yeah, but then, I feel like you you achieve what you set out to do. Cause you do, because yeah, you, you, you visualise it, didn't you? And you, I got what I achieved. Man, I said, imagine if I just visualised the WC, WBC belt, maybe would have got yeah, that, do you mean? Yeah. I boxed for a world title as well, so that's so what then, I boxed Akeem. Then what happened then? You've oh. got, did you defend your British in Commonwealth? Uh, did you, no, did, so, so by the May, this Dalton was number one. Dalton Smith? Yeah, so Dalton's yeah. team, team said defend against Dalton, but then my managers have got me a well, IBO world title. I know it's only IBO, but it's yeah, still it's a world title in it. So the... A lot of people say that, like, a lot of people slate it, but I'm sure if they was offered that fight, like, a lot of people say, oh, IBO, it's a fake world title, because obviously Eubank won it and he got a lot of stick for winning it. And like I probably would give him stick for winning. Like I, I would give you. Well, I wouldn't give him stick, but say, oh, it's, it's, it's not a proper world me. title, yeah. But, <laughs> but if, I, if I got offered an IBO, in the history books, it'll say well, it'll say it'll say, it'll say, world, it'll say yeah. IBO world champion in yeah. 10, 15 years time. People might think, oh, IBO that's, was a big. Yeah. Was a, no, do you know what, what I mean? Like, was, yeah, nice a lot of that. people give it stick, but I'm sure if they was offered the IBO world title fight, they take it. Yeah, they would definitely. So, but they said like, has to happen. Now or or it's oh. the opportunity is going to go so I was like uh, okay good money one like decent well, money decent probably the, yeah the best money I would have got paid in my career yeah so I was like yeah let's do it still still nothing there was nothing what you think yeah yeah I'll tell you later it's nothing yeah but then um, still the best of my career so I had to take it and then yeah that was a tough fight who did you box for that some Mexican kid. Watch the videos of him. He's no way good as me to me. Uh, you watch already, kids and it, do you, you do not, watch these Mexicans and these. Nothing, mate. These, and you fish. Technically, he was just terrible in it. Yeah, the it, yeah, and you're <laughs> like, like, oh, oh no. <laughs> he can bang. But uh, I was already past it then. I think I was already past my prime then. Would you? Yeah, and I just started changing. Well, I've been there with Steam Elliot for it. I beat one. Who was you with? Sorry, Steam Elliot, you're Terry Flanagan's coach. Oh, in um, Rochdale. Man- yeah. Oh, would you? What did you train in Manchester for? A bit? So that's where. So my last fight with Danny was. Connor Parker, then um, Danny stayed in Dubai. So, then so Danny I, moved to Dubai. Yeah. And then how did that come across with Steve Mylett then in Manchester? So then I was thinking, who do I go with? And I, there wasn't many, there's not many choices. And then one of my mates said, oh, I've thought about Terry Flanagan's coach. I was like, oh yeah, that's that's yeah. a good, he's a good coach. I like, I really like Terry. Um, he was good, Terry Flanagan, when he Class. disappeared a bit. like. Yeah. And I, you know what? I've, I've only seen interviews on my TV. That's how I pictured Terry. And um, on his interviews, he can't speak. He's dead quiet. Yeah. He's, he's not charismatic. He's mental, isn't he? You meet him in real life. He's brilliant. Did he's you not, so funny. Like, did, he's class lad, honestly. Did he's you not see the Man City game the other day? Yeah, we've got some of the yeah. He's on Highland. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's a belter. Yeah. Oh, he's class. People, people wouldn't really even like realise that was Terry Flanagan. No. Dear, world champion. Mental. He's a belter. But I, I went with them. What did you just... Give him a message. Yes, I kind of come to him. He's like, yeah. Uh, he was just on the Keen fight, the first one where it fell through. I boxed like up Ben Fields. So he said he was going to do that. He'd do that for me. He's like, yeah, yeah, no problem, Sam. So we did that. And um, but we thought it was going to be a Keen, if you know what I mean. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it was Ben Fields. And he, but he thought I was going to leave him after that. But when I stayed with him, I, like, I really enjoyed the training. It was hard. 
How it, often was you training as a professional compared to an amateur? Like, still, what, yeah, did you so, change your training or did you keep it similar? Uh, obviously, you're going from three rounds to 12 rounds. A lot slower pace, isn't it? Yeah, it's just far slower, yeah. You, you, Is it miles slower? Miles Because like, obviously, I think you do three freezes as an amateur and you're like... Still fast, yeah. it's, it's You're blowing by the end yeah, of the three, yeah, aren't you? nothing like that, no. You think... I've got to do 12 when yeah. I turn on. No, it it's, like that. it's nothing like that. No. Is it? It's a lot slower pace, more Definitely. control. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find it differently? Obviously, you're training and the 12 compared. Did you ever do. Yeah, you did the 12. 12, I've done a few. I did it a few times. Yeah, I did it a few times. But um, yeah, the training. I should have I done better. I, maybe I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't replicate what I was on GB. I should have I trained harder. I should have. Do you but think, anyway, as a yeah. professional, yeah. Yeah, do you should... think that's because you didn't have them people on your back? Maybe. Telling you, you've maybe got to run at this time. Yeah, you've exactly. got to weigh in at this time. You've got to train at this time. Yeah. And that's why. I'm knocking out all these journeymen. I kind of don't need to do that. Yeah, you think, and and it's hard, I bet it's hard to get up for a fight with a journeyman, isn't it? Because yeah. you think, and I, don't need, stuff, I, don't need, I don't need six weeks training for this, man. Do you know what I mean? That's, I bet that's what you like. You shouldn't think like that. No, 100%. In the back of your mind, you're going to have them thoughts, aren't you? Yeah. Especially because you don't even, you might not even find out who you fight until four weeks. So then. Like I'll just start training when I find out who he is. Is it? Yeah, because it's like. And did you get? Did you get a lot of notice on your professional fights? Or not? More than some people. Yeah, four weeks. More, more normally for about four weeks. I yeah. get. What you got four weeks notice for a fight? But yeah. was you always in shape? Yeah, yeah, yeah just always in the gym. People, we were always in the gym, aren't we? Yeah. So a lot of people need a lot more than four weeks, don't they? Yeah, I think that's because I'm always been good at my weight as well. I've never yeah. gone too extreme. Yeah, I've always, I've always been good at my weight. Saying that, but like boxing, when you weight. Yeah, I mean my fitness. That's the worst bit about this, in my opinion. opinion, Like, yeah, I love, I love the training, the running. Like, I I like, I like the training in general. A lot of people don't like the training, but it's the dieting. What what I, I, twenty four seven, hundred percent. I, I had eating disorders, bad eating disorders. Do you think my first? Oh yeah, from from boxing, weight making, getting weight all the time. I mean my first experience on the squad, and with this lad, I won't say his name because I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Bring him down, but anyway, I room with him. We both get on the same time, and um, we make our dinner. We have our dinner. And then um, we're watching TV and he go, he's just, fin- just finishes. He gets up, he goes to the toilet. He said, I'm just going to the toilet. I don't know. I, I carry on watching TV, but don't always watching EastEnders or something. And I just hear him being sick in the toilet. Bruh, bruh. And I just sitting there watching watching TV, spewing up. Then uh, him clean up, comes out. And then we don't speak about it. He just sits down where you're sat now. And we're just like carrying on watching EastEnders. Oh, what, we do, what do you reckon we're doing tomorrow? Like it was just forgot yeah, about yeah, That was just normal. normal. And then like, the, I developed that then. Really, mad. Yeah, I it's mad. that's mental. Like, yeah. well, obviously, I don't think uh, I have for amateur boxing. Like, no. I'm, I don't, I don't like mentally get into it like that. But a lot of kids do. Like, it's you like, see a lot of kids, but the they don't make it obvious either, do they? No, like, no. I've never been one to be bothered by the scales. I think it's because I wouldn't let it affect me. Like, you could do mental willpower. Yeah, like, yeah. And, and it's like, like I give into this food, and then yeah, I have to be, yeah, and then you easy think, way out. I'll have that meal and go for a run after it. And it's mad. What? So that that's mental, really. For like a year of my life, I reckon. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was bad. A lot that that's what a lot of people don't see as well. It's tough old. Spot. I'm still, I'm still winning gold medals and boxer tournaments. I imagine think, if, imagine if I was on had my proper nutrition, I would have. Yeah. Been. But here's his life. Yeah, yeah, you learned. But you? that was my first experience on the squad. I was like, oh, this just must be normal. Yeah. He was a good boxer. Mental. Yeah. It is, isn't it? So then back to professional. Oh yeah. So, uh, you, oh, the IBO, yeah. Go, no, no, IBO world title fight, wasn't it? IBO world title in in Liverpool as well. Boss. What card was that on? Was you top of the bill? I think it was Jazza Dickens. Ryan Walsh, was it? No? No, Jazza Dickens, this American fella, I think. I think so. I don't know. Who was it? Jazza. It might have been Jazza. Let's say Jazza anyway. Yeah, yeah. But it was a big show. Maybe I was top of the bill. Maybe I don't yeah. maybe, maybe it was. Yeah, you know what? I think I was top of the bill. <laughs> forget, so about it, you. forget being top of the bill. Mad. But uh, yeah, this, this Mexican kid just punching me. He, he, what the, I can't remember what I can't. I never watched the fight back. That's bad. Yeah. I, I always watch fights back. He win or lose. No win. But uh, yeah, I lost. I never watched them back. I never watched. Never back. watched that I one never back. Wa- I haven't watched Donald Smith back. Really, not this watched Mexican none of them. Or who else beat me? Sean McCone. Not watched that back yet. Never. No. Ah. Don't want to. Don't want to. Don't, no. don't show it. it. Should have done this. Should have done that. No. Nah. Watch it. Done now, innit? You can't change it's, it anyway. Can't change it. Oh, I was watching it. So then you you boxed him for the IBO world yeah. title. It was that a tough fight? Did it take it out of you? Tough fight. Took it out of me. Um, and then I left. I left Steve. Then and like I think he felt like 
I was blaming him for the loss. But it wasn't, I just, it was a hard life. I was getting up at six in the morning, driving to Manchester. Oh, so you were living in Manchester? No, just you regret in the gym. Do you regret not living in Manchester or not? Would you change yeah, if it, I, do it again? If I did it again, I wouldn't wouldn't have gone to, wouldn't have gone there. It was the wrong decision, lad. Was it? Yeah. For me. Because I would just drive even Liverpool? sort of just getting the training. Uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's even harder, isn't it? Because you're relying on other people. You know, you can't just wake up and jump in the car and fly it there, can you? No. Yeah, so that's tough. It was tough. And I had a baby, just had a baby as well when I joined them, so no sleep. So what were you doing? Nights. Training in the morning, like? Or? Training, the, going there, for, get trying to get there for nine, so I'd have to leave at half, half six hours or half six to get there for nine. And then say he wanted me to do the run the night, I'd have to I fall, fall asleep in the gym and then go to stay on and go do the second session. Really? It's hard work, mate. So you'd Age, stay in Manchester for yeah. the day and then just come home at night. So it's like a... It's like a job, really. It's hard. Age me, because that age me. Did it take I was it young for me. I always felt young for me. Then that now, yeah. How long did you do that for? Two years. <sighs> two years. Two years too long. And it was hard training. Yeah, two years too young. That was like aged me, aged me like ten years. That then did two it? Years, yeah, having a baby, going that, going to new gym and and doing that. Yeah. So you'd change that. That's one thing you would change. Definitely. Yeah. But then, no, it's Dalton Smith. I, left I, I went to Paul Eddie and Solly, my old amateur coach, who had. Had 2014 with my best year and then um, had three fights with Eddie Ayn and Matt Shum. Was a great experience. Cool. I wish I would have joined Eddie sooner because I enjoyed the last three years. Last just three fights, set up in I general. loved it. Yeah. Just not even a better set Did you feel like you was living was, the life then? I was home. It was, it was like, I loved I loved, I was yeah. loving it. You got the, like the, the, fit, the, yeah. the spark back. The spark back, I enjoyed it. And like, I'm around people who, who love me and, and want I me to do you well. you didn't turn professional with... Your amateur coach was he not like they went and had it had it set up then I, I would have oh yeah. you would have stayed yeah I would in have. The, yeah yeah because I, I was wondering that because you were you gone back to him now for yeah. the Dalton Smith fight just yeah. for the Dalton Smith no fight. Um, straight after the the world IBO, IBO. IBO. Yeah, so you've I'm left there. Steve now you've come back to Liverpool back home, yeah what did you have two did you have a tune up fight I had a tune up fight then I fought Dalton and then I fought Sean McCone. It was a Dalton fight, like the build up and everything. Obviously, really, that was, yeah, top, top of the build build for that as well. Where was, was that in Sheffield? Sheffield, yeah, unreal, so it's mate. His home town. It like, was unreal. Oh, did you feel in the build up? Did you feel like I feel like oh, I got the, you always, you always feel like that? Well, I've got this. I'm yeah. good. I'm, I can I'll catch because him. they they've put it in his home town. Yeah, and like Eddie's backing him. Uh, Eddie's yeah. backing well, Dalton. Loads of pressure on him. No pressure on me. Yeah, yeah, no one expects you to win, really, no, did they? Like, I right? thought I could win. Did you ever come across each other on GB or not? Yeah, so I remember, so it was on a Thursday, so I had a full camp, and then this young kid, they're getting this young kid in sparring, and I was like, oh, I can't be asked. You know when you can't be asked? He's like, he so was you like, finish your week, I'm, and he's yeah, start, that's how I'm kind of now, like, I'm starting my week as the experienced ones are finishing. Yeah, so I know he come in, peppered me, but did it's fine. But in my head, it was like, oh, it's because I'm tired. Because I'm tired, he's yeah. fresh. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah. So as you was leaving GB, he was coming, on, coming up, yeah. and then now you top of the Class, bill. yeah. And it's the same. I think as it's similar happened again. As I'm coming to the end of my career, his, his career is about to take off. Yeah, now. yeah it's going to take off. Got a great fight, Sapida, is it? Yeah, and then obviously there's that purse bids for the Adam Azim fight. Come on, yeah, that'd be a naughty one, wouldn't it? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Dalton raises this game just a little bit. Each opponent, I think he's got I've, a bit more amateur experience behind him. Dalton, like, obviously, I I was running England setups with Adam Azim. Like my brother went to the Europeans with him. Quality kid, like yeah, got natural ability. Yeah, yeah fast natural hand. fast power, hands, yeah. power, like it's just. Perfect boxer, really, if yeah. you look at him on paper. Yeah. Good defence, but he's not been tested yet, no. has he? And so, he never had a senior fight as an amateur either. Yeah. But it's a big question, so yeah. we'll see if we can answer them. Yeah, definitely. But so you've had the build up for the Dalton Smith fight. Yeah, and then... Belter, boss. Then perform, I did all right. He, he did exactly what we thought, really. Changed it a little bit. He was a bit more patient than I thought he was going to be. Was it? I imagine did you he came he... at me to knock me out of the first round. I'm not thinking bloody hell then. But what then... did you think he was going to come out steaming? He did though, yeah, he yeah. came out, yeah, we knew, I knew he was going to, yeah, he's going to try, because he's saying he's going to finish it early, he came out steaming, and but I remember he was shocked, he was, missed a few shots, but then it slowed down, then he Could got he a bit more patient. Someone? Yeah, he, 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 we all can, eight well, ounces, you go, can eight ounce, if you what go, with you, eight ounces, ounce, yeah, ten ounces. I'm the last one of eight ounces, me. So you, yeah. you're like the biggest kids in the eight ounces, aren't you? Yeah, so he, any of us catch anyone, you got you can punch. Yeah. But um, I caught him, I think it was in like the third, and I ate him. And then yeah, just I think changed. I remember that. Yeah. He changed a little bit, then he was more patient. And, then he, just and then he set back a bit. Yeah. And then obviously, after that oh, fight. Nail me. After how that did fight. You feel? Like in the, yeah, I felt like, like I don't want to retire. Was, that, and that, I was, like, was that your last fight as a pro? No, I fought one more time. After Dalton? Yeah, fought in December against for my WBO, for the WBO European. What did you think after the Dalton Smith fight? Like, did retirement thinking, come into your head? Yeah, not? Definitely, he was already did edging it? in, creeping in there. I've got a son. I can't perform to the level I want to. Um, I want to retire, but then that opportunity came up to fight Sean. It was decent money again, and I, I, 
I was a trainer. I was a oh, teammate. Yeah, sure. Sean McConaughey teammates for like yeah. years. Uh, he's a good lad, but I've I've had loads of sparring with him, and I feel like yeah, I can beat Sean. Do you mean I can? Is beat that him? So you, you thought oh yeah, I can do this. Did yeah. you get offered that fight from like so that you've. It's only a few You've weeks been beat after. Off Dalton. Yeah, not long after, like a few weeks later, they said this could happen. This Sean McCollum fight. Who, who, what bill was that on? Was that Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn? No, this was Eddie Hearn again. Yeah. Yeah. So he, uh, they come straight back to you and said, "Look, do you want another?" Yeah. And you, what did you think? It was in the as well. So yeah. Show, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did I'd you little, not even think about it? I had a little talk with my man. Just like yeah, and it, it was a it was a great. Did deal. anyone want you to not box after Dalton Smith? Like, obviously, you say you got a kid and that. And did anyone no not want you to box? No. Uh, did you no. have anyone around you like, oh, Sam, you don't need to? Maybe behind, but not to me, Jimmy. Yeah, maybe, too, maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But not you, too get, you do get one, pe like, you do get a lot of pros. Staying too long, yeah. yeah. they do, didn't they? And yeah, like, may I maybe did. You know, I should have gone after that one. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. Should have. So then, Sean, you lost on points. Yeah, but got dropped. I and mean, he's not even a big puncher, Sean. Even a big, so then, you've lost that. Yeah, as soon as I, yeah, as soon as I, even got, like, like in the ring and you finished. Is that, yeah, yeah. was that hard to come to like reality with? No, or not really. Yeah, I just knew, I knew what level I am and I wasn't that level anymore. But you did, but were you happy with what you'd done as yeah, a professional? Definitely. I, I know what, like I think a lot of boxers have regrets because they didn't achieve what they wanted to set out to do, but I feel like I did and more. Like, you started with nothing, didn't you? And then at the end of the day, you've come out God. British champion, Commonwealth champion. Yeah. W get, European, won a bronze all medal. All your experiences. In, in, you've seen the world with GB. Travelled, been 30 odd countries, like that made some great content. 30 odd? Yeah. Lad. We went like, I was do, I did one of them map things the other day, and yeah, for about 30 countries. Unreal. So was it quite, like, would you say it was an upsetting or happy? Like, was you relieved to get out of boxing? How was you? Yeah, that was the feeling. Sad. So that made me know that I was ready because it, was, it wasn't like I was like, oh, I'm itching, itchy knuckles, I want to wanna fight. I was like, I was like, wow, what do I eat? Like, like a weight's lift up in the morning. Don't go, on, don't go and smash the gym. I'm See, like, I think that's where I'd struggle. Like, if I retired, I'd be like that for a week or two weeks. I'd be like, oh, this I'm is the life, this. this. And then after two or three weeks, you're like, Start what do I do at night? Now? <laughs> what do I do in the morning? Like, you're waking up and you're yeah, like, what am I doing? Like, you've got no structure to your life, yeah. have you? Because that's where I'm, so I can so now your well. life. PT now, yeah? Yeah, so life after, what I was going to say, life after boxing, what? What have you done since you retired? Like so, what? just straight back. I'm probably in the gym more t than I wasn't as a when a boxer. Really? So yeah, but I'm like I'm not having to do nothing. I'm like having a laugh. You, you know what, Jimmy? Just Jimmy just brilliant, isn't yeah. it? Like you do miss out on a lot, though, didn't you? Like as a boxer, definitely. Like, especially on so many see, like, you miss out on so many birthdays, Birthday, so many like celebrations. People don't see it, do they? Especially like the ones close to you, they don't realize the seriousness of being on Team GB. They think, oh, you're an amateur boxer. Just have, just come for my birthday meal or yeah. just miss training this one time. It's like, no friends, girlfriends, everyone. Family, did, yeah, everything. family. They don't sacrifice. really think, oh, he's a bit weird, him. But mm. it's not, it's not, it's not weird. You just, you've got to make them sacrifices if you want to get to the top, aren't you? Definitely. But people don't see that. No, they see the, they just seen you go to tournaments and and then they think, oh, you can yeah, surely you can miss one night of training. Yeah, surely you can, boss. Like, yeah. You know, it's like, surely, you're not going Benadorm. You're going to train like, and win gold medals. Yeah, you mean? yeah. It's not. It's not all. It's not it's not a laugh and a joke, is it? It's no. serious at the end of the yeah. day. And like even as a young, you're only twenty one, like it's pressure as well. Straight away you 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 whether you put it on yourself or other people put it on you, yeah, you you've need got to pressure go on you. If you're not perform, performing, you're yeah. off, aren't you're you? off, yeah. You're fired off. You're like, you're rated on your win them medals and you need to win no them. No matter what you do, if if you're a million dollars in the gym, you get in the ring, you're getting beat. You're off. You're gone. Yeah. There's so someone coming up thought and there's there's never gonna be a time where someone's not coming for your spot. Yeah. So you've someone got to be so no matter even if you, you win, you can't sleep on win either, can you? No. Because there's a kid coming up and he'll he more than happily take yeah. your spot, won't he? Yeah. That's all yeah. So that's what's good with amateur boxing as well as professional. You can't you can't have a minute, can you? It's no. non stop no. from the get go. It's not like you do a camp, you get two weeks holiday, do another camp, no. it's fifty two weeks like a year. Being a pro and being a champ. Now you've got what the challenger, you've got the contender, they, they, they're going to want it just like you did when you was just a challenger yeah, and yeah. you know what they want to be, they're going to be thinking. Because I would have a bit of a, like, as you do as a kid, like, oh, I've trained hard, go and have a week off. Like, I've started learning that more now, you can't do it, can no. you? Especially if you want to be get to the top, you can't yeah, do it. You've got, greats. you've got to live the life day in, day out, and especially seven, if yeah. you want to be the top, because that, that's yeah. what the top I mean, if you do. don't want to be the top, yeah, sound, go do that. But if you want to be the top, you have to live the life. Yeah, you do, yeah. definitely. And it's a, it's a sacrifice, but it's... To us, it's worth it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, to some, it's not like not everyone can be a champion, can they? No. Not everyone can live up live to the like dream. That, yeah. yeah, and it happens, but you have got to give it every chance you got, aren't you? Yeah. So, life after boxing, plans, oh, yeah. future plans. Uh, so, at what the have moment, you done since you retired, like you a lot more free time, no structure. 
I'm no, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm a PT, so I'm, I'm coaching people. And was you doing that before? Uh, no, like, literally just retired and retired. Like, yeah, I can, was you in a bit of a place where you're like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I've was like you? 25 years of boxing, like that's all I know. I don't know what to do, and I'm blessed with my job because I've just had a kid as well. He's two. He's two in a few days, and um, I get to spend so much time with him because of boxing. Like, do, do yeah. I am lucky I am that I got the relationship I got with him because I was just always off. Yeah. But like now I have to have a job and that. It's like it's just, it was. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna like this. I'm not gonna see my son as much as yeah, I want to. Because yeah. you're training, coming home, seeing your son. Yeah. Like, yeah. Boss has it. Was, yeah. it was brilliant. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying the the coaching. Um, trying to add a bit of value to people's lives and and just get getting yeah. the enjoyment out of it. It makes me feel good like doing it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So you're not. You've not done too bad then, have you? No, I'm doing all right. And then um, yeah. just it, obviously it starts off slow, and but I'm 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 positive, feeling positive about it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, quality. Right, last thing. Yeah, I'm going to ask you a question to finish. Yeah, if you could give any piece of advice to any young amateur boxers out there, or anyone in the sport, or if you had any regrets out what you wouldn't I wouldn't do, what would what would you say? Like, what advice would you give to an up and coming fighter? Obviously, like myself. Yeah, our kids even still youth juniors what would you say to them what would i say what would i say to me say you could go back 10 years and tell yourself something obviously yeah. don't don't say i'll oh, pack the sport in <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'd say yo or oh, the biggest piece of advice you've ever given what changed your life what would you what would you say to them i'd say like um don't don't rely, don't get anything from other people's comments, whether it's positive or, or negative. You can only take, only take that with a pinch of salt. you got to get it from, be, have that within. Yeah. He yeah. said, you can't let, because if you go off other people, how other people feel, you like, I did it, I did it, Jimmy, and I wish I didn't. Like, I let people control how I feel about myself and, and how I perform. And then um, I just wish I had it. Like you seem to have got very mental, a lot of mental strength, and a lot of people I'm around are very positive. I just wish I was more like that. What more positive? Yeah, a bit more positive, a bit more self belief. Like I was a champion, and I still yeah. didn't believe myself. You're gonna have to, yeah. like not every day. Like not every day you're gonna be able to train your best. You're not gonna spar your best. You're not gonna run your best. And it doesn't matter. Just life in it. Yeah. Like yeah, for as long as you're doing it, thirty percent of the time. Uh, you have your good days, you have your bad days, you have your all right days, don't yeah. you? It's going to be an to... average, you're free in it. You're going to yeah. have three good days. Uh, you're going to... A third of the time, you're going to be good. A third of the time, you're going to be all right. And a third of the time, you're going to be bad. Yeah. And it just happens. and just understand that. And it don't it don't it doesn't matter. Like it's not a big deal. Just just keeps chugging just, away. And yeah. um, also just yeah, just look. I've achieved what I've achieved without without. I can't explain it. Yeah. What would I say to them? What would I say? It's a tough one, that isn't it? Yeah. Just believe in yourself, yeah. Believe in yourself. Yeah. Go do it. Go enjoy it. And if you, yeah, you can do it, can't you? Yeah. No matter what. Just yeah. I give have it proof of that. Just give it a first shot. Mm -hmm. And it'll work out probably better than what you think. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You you put my words better than what I can put them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I think that's I think that's everything. Anything else you want to say or anything? Like, nah. Nah. I'm like saying. So, I think it's a it's a it's a brass format. This and like you said, as boxers, we listen to podcasts all the time. Yeah. And um. Yeah, just great to be a part of it. Thanks for having me yeah, on. Thanks for having me. Really great first it. episode. I was uh, glad to, to talk about myself. You are, it's a thing I really do. So it was nice just opening up. And um, I'll go home now. And if I listen to, to this back, I'll be like, I should have said this. I yeah. should have said that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But uh, I've really enjoyed it. Nice yeah. one. Man. Nice one for having us, Sam. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, Sam. That's it. First episode box with Sam Maxwell. Thanks for watching, guys. Great stories there. Better than I, better than I thought, to be honest. Great stories. So we'll be back probably... Trying to get an episode out there every two weeks, so just make sure you subscribe, like it, keep watching for more. Cheers.